guys, it's Sam, and I am going to be doing a get ready with me video. I haven't done one of those in a while, and I kind of wanted to chit chat with you guys. While I am putting on my makeup, I'm going to go out to eat, which that's all I've been doing this spring break. But I just, it's so nice to uh, be off, of course, but also to be able to do the things that you normally wouldn't be able to do during the work week. Like, I normally don't go out to eat during the work week, but I am going out to eat tonight, and I just felt like talking to you guys so the first thing I want to share with you are these glasses a lot of you might know I got LASIK done last year on both my eyes and I had pretty bad eyesight I would say uh, after the LASIK it was amazing I could see really well and then the right eye unfortunately just kept on losing vision not too bad I, I could see without glasses just fine uh, but I did go to my own optometrist and he was like your eyesight is pretty good but let's get you some glasses and I would only need like I would rather wear contacts but he was like he persuaded me not to get contacts just because I would only put it in the one eye so I did get a pair of glasses and I want to tell you guys about that just because uh, while for a lot of people it does work, for me, unfortunately, my right eye just did not take to it. And the place that I went to, they were like, well, if you pay us more money, we could try to fix it. And I was like, eh, no thank you. Um, maybe in the future I will try to repair this eye. This eye is great. This eye, not so great. So I have glasses for the one eye. And I could see much more clearly and crisply, but without them, I could see clearly as well. So... Um, it's just if I feel like wearing them, I could wear them. And then the other thing I want to share with you is this bag that I got from TJ Maxx. And I absolutely love it. It's by the brand Urban Expressions. And I was just there. Um, I had to do a few errands that day. And I saw this bag. It's just a gorgeous blush color. And I'm obsessed with that color. I'm going to do a, a haul, another haul, uh, maybe in a couple of weeks. And I have a lot of pieces that you'll see this kind of color. So I'm obsessed with that. So love this bag. It has a really roomy interior. And I've used it once or twice and it's really, really nice. And it does come with a strap. I wish it was a little bit bigger because it's kind of thin. But I'll take it. A strap is good and it zippers up. So let's get started with the actual makeup. And... I had used up the Clarins Instant Light Perfector, which is kind of like a primer. Uh, so I am going to be using the Pixi one, which is, this is also a brightener. But this says Flawless Beauty Primer Number 1 Even Skin. And you're going to notice that it has, oh, oh my goodness, did you just, I just, I'm always doing that. I can't be the only one who does that kind of stuff. So I am going to... See, it gives a little bit of shame, maybe not, you can't see. And I'm going to be looking over here, because that's where my mirror is. And I might have to de depot this, depot, uh, because it's the, this part is just not doing good things. It just squirts all over the place. Back on track, Sam. So I am going to be using the foundation I mixed, which I had told myself that I would stop mixing stuff because it just doesn't turn out well. But I uh, did, a, did a test on this one day. So this is a mix of an Etude House BB Cream and the Dr. Hashka Foundation, which one is really full coverage and the other wasn't. The Dr. Hashka Foundation really wasn't full coverage, but I just, I like the mixing of the two and how my skin looks. So I uh, just decided to mix them both and that is the current foundation that I'm having. And I have to color my hair because there's a few grays poking out. So I just take my fingers and I'm just going to spread that all around. Sometimes I'll stick my beauty blender in, in here. I know that's some of you are like, ew. But usually the beauty blender is clean before I poke it in, right? That's not too bad. Okay, so I am going to use this, the black beauty blender, which I have kept a note of when I started this, and it was April 5th of last year, and right now it's the like the second week of April. And it's lasted me that long. So if you take care of your beauty blender and clean it and just you know aren't too rough with it it will last you a long time and I wear foundation I would say 85% of the time so this thing gets used a lot 
Now I did, um, like I'll use this 60% of, no, I would say I use this 70% of the time. I don't know why I'm doing all these percentages. I would use this 70% of the time and the real techniques 30% of the time. So that might have something to do with it. So this gives me decent coverage. It's not full coverage. Um, but I feel like it, the Dr. Hashka has really good skin ingredients, so I don't mind it that much. And I'm going to go still using this concealer. I've had, I think my sleeping is off, so like that's why I have lots of breakouts going on. And then I like to put on an eye primer, still working on this. And I got 10% off. I My Sephora status changed from VIB to Beauty Insider. And it's just, that's fine with me. I, um, it's only, you get 10% off if you're a Beauty Insider. And you get 15 if you are a VIB a member. So, I mean, of course you want more percent off, but... Um, that's okay. And then I wanted to, let's see. No. <laughs> I didn't need to use that yet. But I did, I want to use this, uh, f just to test it out. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. It looks like it would be, like, a good, like, highlight, highlighter brush. So I might use that then. I don't know. So back to the Sephora. So I got my 10% off. I might get the Urban Decay Primer Potion because I know I like that. Let me just put on some... Lip balm, and this is the Dr. Hauschka uh, lip care stick. And I got introduced to that brand. It's, I believe, it's a, I want to say German brand. I could, uh, might be wrong. Uh, my friend, she was there, and she picked up some Dr. Hauschka, and that's how I came to know that brand. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known it. And if you're interested in that brand, it is, you could get it from Whole Foods. I know they sell that stuff. Okay, next is powder, and I was down to nothing, so I kind of broke them up because uh, it was starting to break up into little pieces where I could not pick up any powder, so I crushed it, and I mixed this with the Clarins one that I was almost done with. So I'm going to take, this is a great brush for powder, and it takes no time to put powder on. This is the Equal Tools Powder Brush. And I just like to pat it in and I go all over. And this gives me extra coverage, which I love. But now that you're starting to get hot, I don't know, I gotta figure out a new foundation routine because boy, it was hot the other day and it wasn't it was maybe like 80 degrees. It's which I don't Hot to me, I mean, that was hot, but, like, we're not even in summer yet, and I was starting to complain about my makeup, so that is what I mean by that. And then I am going to take my e.l.f. contour palette, the one that looks like this, because I know they have come out with a bunch of these. I'm going to take the darker color and contour with that. And this is one of the unicorn brushes that my sister got me, which is so cute. Okay, and then for blush, I've been loving using this for my eyes and my cheeks. And this brush that I'm going to use, nope, wrong brush. I'm going to use, this is the e.l.f. I'm not exactly sure what this is called. But this is, I believe, uh, for foundation. But I like to use it because it's not dense enough for me. I like to use it for blush or for bronzer. But I love this color. It's so subtle, but it's beautiful. And then for uh, highlight, I am going to be using 
This is the Becca Skin Perfect Shimmery Skin Perfector in Opal. And I've been reaching for this again, and I'm going to use this brush that I pulled out earlier. And just... See? Ooh! Too much. So sometimes when I do that, I'll go to the other side, and then I'll go come back to this. Since there's less product on there. And I kind of want to use it. Yeah, this is perfect for down the nose. This gives a great glow. I've been thinking about what makeup to bring, and I think I want to bring that to the wedding that I'm going to in Florida. And that's the same wedding that I'm playing the bachelorette party with some other people. And it's just... I don't know how party planners do it. or It's just I have never really planned a bachelorette party. And just to get everybody together and get the RSVPs were kind of hectic. So if I get an RSVP, I'm definitely going to respond right away. Because I know people need to know who's going to come to the party. It's very important. Uh, next is, oh, I'm going to go back to this. And I'm going to use that for my eyes. And I've just been loving using these two. So I'm going to use the brown, and I don't need a lot because this is pretty, see, it's pretty pigmented. And I'll do it on this side, sorry. I keep on doing it on the other side, but you guys can't really see. You know what I don't like about this weather, though? Is when it starts to get nice, all the motorcycles come out, which I don't, I have nothing against motorcycles, but when it's like 11 o'clock at night, Please don't roar your motorcycle. People are trying to get to bed. Okay, ran over. And then I'm going to go into the pink and just go back and forth. Just to give a little bit. This is more eye makeup than I've done in a really long time. Some of you are probably like, what? Yeah. So I just been taking it really easy. And that's about it for the eye makeup. If I'm feeling really fancy, I will go in with some eyeliner, but really, this is basically it. I'm going to do my mascara and my eyebrows, and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back, and the mascara that I am using is I finally finished with the CoverGirl Lash Blast. That thing lasted me forever. Um, is the CoverGirl Super Sizer. And I have to tell you, initially I did not like this, but now I really, really do. And it may, I feel like it made my lashes look extra long and I'm still finishing. Sorry, I thought my camera was going to die. It's going to die in a second. Um, not die, it's going to stop um, recording. Uh, so this is still the Wet n Wild and I'm almost done with that as you can see. And that is my look. Very simple. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you soon. Bye!